Hi everyone, welcome back to the Capacity Channel. I'm here today with Rika. Together we are the marketing team at Capacities. And Rika is going to show us how she uses Capacities with Sublime, which is another tool in the space, very different to Capacities, but I think you have some really cool workflows of how they work together. So I want to see them and I thought it would be fun if we could record this and share with you as well. So I will hand over to Rika and to her capacity space. Hey everyone, thanks Beth for the intro. I guess I'll jump right in. To caveat, before I show anything, I think as you know Beth, all of my systems are deeply vibe based and just like feelings based. So there's really not that much logic involved in the initial like how I use my systems and how I use apps and when I use them. It's very much an organic workflow and I think you'll be able to see that and that's how I like it and that's how it makes most sense to me. I use Capacities and Sublime together. They're basically the only two apps that I use actively in terms of like knowledge management. Obviously I use other apps as well, but these are like the core of my system and they represent two very different parts of the knowledge work spectrum for me. So on one end is Sublime, which is what I use for passive collection and information resurfacing. And on the other end is Capacities, which I use for information synthesis, like going deep with all of the things I've collected into Sublime, in Sublime. And I, I like move them into Capacities and take my work from there, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. So the way I've written it down, and bear with me, is that Sublime is like a stream where information flows past me and around me that I can resurface and find things when I need them again. And capacities, if we're sticking with this metaphor, is the lake, the river, like trickles down into, and it's this still expansive place where I can go deep and reflect on all the information that I've curated in Sublime. Very nice. How long have you been using them together? Like, is this like a recent thing or? Well, I've been using capacities the longest, as you know. I think I've been using capacities since early 2023 um and i've been using sublime for over a year now but i've been using them together since i started using sublime so for over a year um and this workflow has kind of developed organically very nice that's the best ones to do thanks um so i guess i can jump in i can show you guys my sublime this is kind of embarrassing because it is just like all the stuff that i'm saving um so this is my personal back end kind of library in Sublime and then everyone has a public library so this is what you can see if you're not me and you're just looking at my profile. So everything I save on the internet apart from articles that resonates with me in some way goes directly into Sublime. So I'm not precious about the things that I save. Anything kind of goes in here that I resonate with so genuinely like I take pictures of oh, that's cool. books that I want to buy in the shops and then instead of buying them straight away I'll put them in a little collection and then this is shared so that if my boyfriend wants to buy me a book he can feel free to do so that's using my collection. So everything kind of goes in here, there's a lot of memes and stuff, article highlights from Readwise, but yeah basically I'm really not precious about the things I save because the sublime search feature is so good that I know that I can find anything again if I search for it. Like I kind of just pull things into Sublime that resonate with me. A lot of the time I save things without adding them to collections because I know that they'll resurface in the related collection section. And I kind of save things without worrying about organizing them first. I think that makes the most sense to me. I do add things specifically to collections if I know that they go there. For example, I'm reading a Proust at the moment and so I have a collection for like little resources and tidbits about Proust and so I knew I wanted that to go there because that's an active project that I have at the moment. That's cool. Have you always had that approach where it like it's not inbox zero it is just like a safe place for you to save everything and then organize as required? Yeah I think so. I really don't like yeah that's a good question. I think so. I don't really like thinking about things when I'm saving or like I want there to be as little friction as possible yeah. in the information collection phase of things. I just want to be able to put things into places and trust that I know that I'll be able to find them again. And I think trust is a big thing with both capacities and sublime. Like I just trust that I know I'll be able to find things again. I don't have to remember where I put anything because in sublime I can search for it and because capacities is networked and object based and it just is set up in the way that I want it to be and how my brain works i just trust that everything is in its place without me having to do anything about it so very nice that's really cool to hear 
Thanks. Um, so yeah, what else? Um, I have connected my Readwise account to Sublime. Um, so all of my Readwise highlights automatically go into Sublime along with like the source notes, um, like where it came from. Um, so I never directly save articles and books and stuff into Sublime. They'll just be pulled in through the integration. Um, so, um, I also really enjoy how chaotic my Sublime space can get. I'm really, as I said, not precious about it at all. Um, I like how everything from Readwise gets pulled into Sublime. And I really do think about my Sublime space as kind of this constant stream of resonant knowledge that I just pile things into. And then I just trust that things will resurface when I need them to be found again. I like the mess and I like the chaos because I think the best ideas and organic thoughts can really spring from spontaneity and not really having everything in order. Um, I think you can't surprise yourself when everything's in really neat boxes. And I like how Sublime and Capacities lets me kind of be a bit messy and contribute to this element of surprise. And again, the search is really good so I can just find things when I need them. So yeah, and then once I've been collecting things on a topic or a certain theme, where I can spot a theme emerging or I'm working on a project, as I said, my Proust long read or like a novel that I'm working on or a theme that I'm focusing on, I can start pulling things into capacities so I can uh, so this is my capacities is it okay if it looks like this yeah okay and basically in split screen mode I'll start pulling things from sublime into capacities so for example I'm reading Proust and I know that I have a god that's the wrong thing I have a tag for I have the same tag, but it has a lot less things in it. So I know that, for example, if I wanted to like reference this book, I can copy this image, paste it in here, and it will have the tag and all of that stuff. Yeah. Um, so I can start expanding on my saved thoughts in this way. Um, what else? And because Sublime and Capacities are both object-based tools, I can just bulk pull cards from Sublime and then turn them into their relevant object type within my space. So for example, highlights from an article get uh, turned into an article object type with the highlights embedded, or a quote gets turned into a quote object type, a video gets turned into a web link, all of that stuff. So here you can see this is an article object type. That's cool. And this is a book. And um, because I'm obviously still reading it, I don't have reading notes on it. Very nice. It's cool that they're both object based. Like I suppose for us like being used to so sorry, for us being so used to capacities like using other tools that have a similar setup it kind of just makes sense and it's like I really enjoy how you have them literally side by side but doing different things yeah thank you yeah I do think that when I kind of realized that Sublime was also object-based in a less on the nose way than we are that's when the integration of these two apps together really works for me as a yeah. workflow and um, because I can also like in Sublime filter things by object very nice um and then yeah and then i can also search within this filter so that's quite that's another cool way of like resurfacing stuff isn't it it's yeah. like same capacity sometimes what you see when you click on the tag versus when you open your whole object type is completely yeah. different and that's again another opportunity for serendip serendipity right yes exactly so that's really fun and yeah so basically i'll start pulling things from sublime into capacities where they're relevant and then capacities is where I really do my deep thinking and my deep work and where I can really start to sit with my thoughts on a topic. Like mm -hmm. sublime is where I guess my resources and my sources go. And then capacities is where I can really pick through those sources, analyze them, turn them over, interact with them and start adding my own thoughts and reflections to them. So that's when the learning and the understanding of something really comes into it. So I think that's a really important step. I think arguably the most important step for me in my process in just always wanting to be curious and learn things is like the perfect next step from, because I'm not just collecting information, I'm doing something with it, it's got somewhere to go. Um, and it's really fun. How would you say your like time is split between them? Like, do you use both daily? Do you do all activities daily? Is it like rhythmic? Another very good question. I do use both every day. I think again, sublime more passively every day. Like I, mm -hmm. if I'm on my phone, the I'll just like, 
save something to Sublime using the share sheet. So I just collect things into Sublime quite passively over time. And then I have, I use capacities in more concentrated bursts. I have my note taking time and my research time where I just want to sit with things. And then when I know, for example, that I want to pull information from Sublime into capacities, then I'll use both intentionally. But yeah, Sublime is more just a passive process that's kind of running in the background always. And then capacities is where I go for more intentional time. That's cool. Would you say that there's ever something that you see in Sublime that you're like so obsessed with you want to immediately put it into capacities and like get going? Yes, but if there's something that I'm saving that I'm like obsessed with, I'll save it to both places. <laughs> so if I know that I want it to be in my capacities, I'll save it to both Sublime and capacities. Just again, it's a vibe thing. Like if mm -hmm. I know that I really want to work with something or I'm really excited about something or I know that it deserves a place in my capacity space because mm -hmm. I'm so interested by it, it'll just go straight there. Um, and I'm not, I don't really care about doubling up having saved something in one place and also the other because at the end of the day, they're separate apps. So it doesn't really matter. I suppose like fitting it into the rest of your workflow as well, it's just double the chance of serendipity there because yeah. as you're saying, if you're browsing Sublime through either object or search is going to come up amongst other search results, yeah. both in Sublime and in Capacities. So you could find more fun rabbit holes through doing that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And another really cool thing in terms of like using both apps for rabbit holes, obviously let's use, I know that I have a lot of stuff saved about the internet. I have a collection where I save stuff about the internet and in Sublime, you can surface related ideas. So that's really cool. I think it's like one of their best features is that you can use one card or save as a jumping off point to find something else. But in mm. capacities, you can do something similar where I know that I have a the internet tag and I can use the related tags as jumping off points to dive into other themes that are related to the internet theme. So if the related section in Sublime is related to things that you've saved in your library, but also other people in Sublime have saved into their Sublime ecosystems in capacities it really is just curated to exactly what i have saved so That's i know cool it's even like a higher resonance relation yeah that makes a lot of sense yeah so it's really cool and then obviously in capacities you have the related tags you also have mentions um so i know that for example if i haven't tagged something directly as related to the internet i have a ton of stuff here that is just like that capacities has pulled as being related to the internet so i can go even deeper that way um, and really yeah, it's really fun. And then it also means that, for example, here, I have a ton more stuff saved in my sublime, the internet collection than I do in my capacities, the internet collection. Mm -hmm. if I wanted to sit down and think about the internet. I can just pull, I can start to copy things over and that will also help me find jumping off points and ways to branch out uh, with my thinking. I really like the model of like the capacities tag being like the really high resonance stuff but it doesn't mean that you're not open to more resonance so again yeah. if they're tagged with the same name or collections and a tag with the same name you know exactly where to go and find something so it feels like it's top down and bottom up at the same time yeah. which I think sounds really rewarding it's a good way of putting it yeah exactly cool. so it's just really cool like both apps work really well mm in symbiosis with each other or in, and then they meet different needs as well. So I think this is a topic note I have on the internet, which as you can see has nothing in it, but I have a ton of mentions. That's so cool to I've see. Mentioned things that are related to the internet. And then I also have a lot of articles that mention the internet that are about the internet that are connected to it. So I can also use this as a way of like, jumping through things that are related. Like I don't, I read this at the beginning of the year um, and it's unprocessed, so I need to pull my notes into it. But that'll be really easy to do now with our Readwise integration. <laughs> These are all my highlights. And then I have things tagged and it's just quite deeply a lot of fun. And then- I love that, that's so important. Cause I presume that's what keeps you coming back, right? Like it's interesting, it resonates with you and it's fun. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like it's, it's Great. mainly just fun and I'm passionate about it. And mm. because capacities and sublime essentially serve as a pool for all of my interests, like the things that I am curious about and the things that I am wanting to think deeply about that I'm thinking about already, mm. it's just easy to keep coming back because 
why wouldn't I? Um, so, yeah. Uh, I like that you're combining the images and text together as well. Like, it's really rich. Oh, thank you. And colourful. Thanks. I do really like memes, so you'll see a lot of them in both my Sublime and my capacities. Yeah, what else? I think that's basically it. Like, there's a lot of different ways that I can use both apps together, but my workflows are really emergent. And yeah, it's just really just depending on what I'm wanting to think about and what I'm wanting to work on. Example is I'm thinking about phenomenology. I know that I have a topic note on phenomenology. Once again, it's empty, but there's a ton of stuff here in my Sublime that I can start putting directly into my note with some notes from highlights. And there's also a ton of stuff here that I've been thinking about, resources, definitions, articles. And so I just use both to then sit in my capacity space and like dive more deeply into mm -hmm. topics. So Sublime essentially is also like a starting off point that can lead me into the deep focus work that I'm wanting to do in capacities about the things that interest me and the topic cool. I care about. So. So these topic notes are end up like like the hubs, right? And then you can dive off the hub into something more specific. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's just like a lot of jumping off points and entry points for my interests and falling down rabbit holes and things like that that I find really, really fun. So yeah, I guess one other thing that I wanted to mention is that sometimes I do save things directly into capacities and not into Sublime. But this is deeply a vibe-based decision. Yeah. It's like an on-the-spot type thing. I'm not really thinking through it. It's just like, I know I want this here. I'm going to put it here. Yeah, like if I know it's something about phenomenology and I know that I'm taking notes on it, it might just make sense to just pop it in here. And then I know that it's there when I need it. Um, but again, it's probably in both places. So I think that's a good like systems lesson though. Because even, as you say, you've been using the tools together for a while now and you have a fairly good standard workflow that you come back to day in and day out it doesn't mean it's wrong to slightly veer away from that sometimes especially if the thing encouraging you to veer away from that is like deep interest in something and you know that you have a place to put it like we should just follow those kinds of feelings yeah no i think you're so right obviously but i i think this is one of the things just in general that people tend to overthink and it stops them from actually getting to the the important bit which is the thinking and the note taking and the work is like where am I going to put it how am I going to organize it how can I know that I'm going to find it again and I think the overall theme of my systems is vibes and also trust like I have a lot of trust in my systems and yeah. so I never have to question like oh I don't know if I'm going to find this again like I know that I will and it's in one of two places or probably both and then I can just bypass that whole admin overhead or like trying to figure out where things go like the organizational overhead and I can just like get to the stuff that really matters which is taking notes and learning and research and developing ideas and doing stuff with my ideas yeah I'm so inspired like I want to go and take notes right now oh my god thank you same thing a good compliment yeah so I guess the last thing I have written down is that both sublime and capacities help me just get stuck in which is kind of what I said very cool but I think that's the whole point is that I don't have to think about it. I can just go. And both of these apps together help me. I do that. They help me get to the stuff that matters to me. And then in the process, I'm living a more fulfilling life because I'm spending time with things that matter to me day to day. So, yeah. That is so inspiring. Thanks, Guru. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. I'm immediately going to go and explore both Sublime and Capacities together. I feel really inspired and I think that's just a really excellent way of phrasing it like the fun with these apps and what you get out of them is never the actual organizational part it's the doing and it's so clear that both of sublime and capacities just help you do what you want to do and you get such goodness out of it like it's really fun exactly like there's no tinkering and i think that's mm. one thing that both sublime and obviously we at capacities care a lot about is that mm. it's like you don't have to tinker with your setup you don't have to make decisions about things that ultimately aren't the stuff that's important like yeah. we're just helping we're just trying to help you get to the stuff that matters so yeah i think that's deeply cool okay very inspiring thank you so much for sharing and thank you to anyone who has been watching if you have any questions for rika let her know yeah. she'll be camping out in the comment section